is about what time is it? 617. They started Benny on his medicine at 1. And so he'll be done at 9. Then he's gonna get a platelet transfusion and he's done well. He hasn't got any reactions. Other than the fact that he is a little warm, but he doesn't have a fever. They're just watching him. And so let's see. Salud. Benny! Papa Tito, Papa Moto! Benny! Parate, mi amor. Okay, no, pues. Officially finished our first day here. My son took his chemo like a trooper. Have any reactions other than nausea? A little, little light fever. I'm just being over it. He officially hates people touching him. I don't blame him. You're so strong, Benny. I can't wait till you get older. And you see how strong you were. So today, it's been a rough one. We're on day minus eight. And little Benny had to get his NG tube. He did so good though, you guys. Oh my gosh, he is amazing. He just takes everything so well. He's so brave. That's why I hashtag him Benny the Brave. I swear, it's not even me just being his mom. <laughs> it's me just completely amazed on how stinking strong and brave he is. And he doesn't let nothing drop him down. He's doing good though. He had a feverish last night, but nothing crazy. He slept really well. One, because he was exhausted. And hopefully today goes good. He's so strong, Benjamin. Observa como una niña periférica de una abundante en las citoplasmas se encuentran algunas mitocondrias, ribosomas, libres y pequeño aparato. La función principal de los linfocitos es la regulación de la respuesta inmunitaria. ¿Qué estás haciendo, güey? Pues aquí me está haciendo hacer cosas. Donde sea, bro. Mr. Oh. Fix It. Donde sea tiene su caja de herramienta, mi carnal. Eh. A todos lados la tienen que cargar. Es que ah, Benny no. doesn't sleep comfortably on these beds, so his daddy went to go buy him a foam pad. <laughs> and he's customizing it to fit. <laughs> ¿Que no queda, bro? ¿Cómo no, da? It don't fit. Mr. Fix It can fix it. Benny, you gonna sleep good tonight, Baba? My dear, incredible. Oh, dear, baby, but you don't want to. Good morning, everybody. We are on day minus seven. Our third day here in the hospital. <clears throat> and Benny woke up really good. No fever last night. He did really well with his treatment yesterday. Just really tired. 
and he has just started one of his pre-medicines um, before they give him his their dosage for today so these run for eight hours I don't know if I mentioned that in the earlier clips but these run for eight hours so today they'll start him at 10 they'll be done at 6 this is his tubing he's scratching it off but he's doing really well with it he hasn't been pulling on it as much as I thought he would taking his medicines a lot easier I wanted to show you guys the central line just because I don't I didn't even show it my last vlog it was kind of a rough one so we didn't want to show it but you can see it right there that's his central line he does so well though he doesn't even want to touch it or nothing say thank you everybody for your prayers and your lovings Benny loves lavins. So I'm thinking of totally using this. My friend Alex got him that. And I want to fill it up with pictures and prayers from friends and family. So what do you think? I think I want to do like anyone who wants to send like a prayer or a picture of them and their family, you know, showing so he can see who's praying for him and see the face behind the prayer I'm gonna like fill it up and go over it hopefully with how many prayers who can visit you? oh you know you wake up better? ooh ooh drop it like it's hot drop it like it's hot hey hey Benny hi boys. what day are we on son? Day minus six. Hi, son. He looks so good. They were telling us that he is doing really good. No reactions with this first medicine, the rabbit thymoglobulin. Tomorrow they start Dubusulfan, which is the one that's supposed to be really hard on them. Um, but even then they say that sometimes it doesn't hit them till after the transplant. So we're praying that you don't get too sick, huh, buddy? Oh, dang, son, you make your Mickey looking good. Only you can rock that Mickey outfit with them Ninja Turtle socks. Only you, son. Cutie with a booty. Love you. Say, I love you, everybody. Say, we're going to kick today. But two, huh? Ain't nobody dropping me to the ground. Thank you, you got vehicles everywhere we look. Then. Here we see a Becca. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool, Papa. Oh my gosh, I look like a tricycle. Look like a Harley, a baby oh Harley. Oh 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 no, I'm gonna get off next week. Um, I know, voy a ver. Voy a ver como el anda. I'm gonna come tomorrow. I'm gonna come after work. And then I'm gonna come Saturday también. Voy a ver como anda. Él va a estar bien. Hey everybody. Oh my gosh, I look like death, but I'm tired. <laughs> I think these past four days, give me a little penny. These past four days have kind of caught, and caught up with me. Benny's just done so amazing. And I wanted to close this vlog with this video just because we're kind of like in the middle stage of his chemo 
and we did four days of the thymoglobulin which is the cells used to um, kill off his lymphocytes which is one of his white blood cells and he didn't have any really like immediate reactions he took really well to the medicine and he was sleepy fussy groggy a little nauseated at first but he did really well for the most part nothing i couldn't calm him with loving on him um and just being you know just kind of letting him take it out on me tomorrow um they're gonna start the busulfan and that's the medicine that's really gonna take out his bone marrow the side effects from that probably won't hit him immediately as hard as like they are going to after his transplant so like next week late next week gave me all of the information of like what is going to happen with him and um like what the side effects are going to be and the worst of course is like scary stuff like breathing problems and but most likely he'll be like nauseated nause like nauseous he'll have mouth sores which i don't even want to think about like i think just with him like i hashtag him benny the brave because he's so strong like everything that he goes through he just kind of like he just gets through it like he doesn't show he's sick and so for me it scares me to think that he's gonna feel sick or he's gonna like lo va tumbar like that's what scares me is that i'm gonna see him sick because i'm not used to seeing him sick so it scares me like crazy because i don't want to see him sick like, I just don't want to see him sick. I don't want to see him in pain. And it gets me nervous because, I don't know, like, I just pray that God covers him. And, okay, like, I know that he has to get sick in order for this to work. That's something I'm aware of. So that's what I'm like, Mari, like, just, just know that it's going to pass. It's going to pass. It's going to pass. But... I can't even lie, like it, it messes me up, dude, to think that my son is gonna feel any pain, any of my kids, like it just breaks me to my core to feel that. So we're here, we're here. We got through these first four days. He got through them like a champ. God moved and he covered my son and he covered me, he gave me strength and peace of mind you know and seeing that everything's going good and now like this is the last part of it so i just hope to get through these four days and whatever has to happen with him after the transplant if he feels sick i'm gonna be there and god's gonna be there to cover to heal him and we have so much support from my family and friends and you know us as a family me my husband and my kids are just we're just so in touch with each other we're there for each other so i'm so grateful like i'm so grateful and just emotional because my heart goes out to anyone who goes through this like we have seen so many families here we have seen so many families here since we've been here and i'm just like oh my gosh like i'm so humbled by this situation and it's not even tears of like sadness i'm just so like i think i'm just so like overwhelmed with the most beautiful people that i've met while i'm here and not even just the patients like the mothers 
the nurses here are amazing the doctors the techs the cleaners here las viejas que vienen a limpiarme el cuarto are amazing like God has really surrounded us with so many beautiful people in this situation. Strangers have become friends. Friends have become family. My family are amazing. Our, my pastor, his wife, their family, everyone in my church. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I think I'm just overwhelmed. One, with my Benny being going through what he's going through. But just to think like just everything it's just so crazy but we're getting through it and i know one day i'm gonna look back at this and i'm gonna say like we did it like we got through that you know and god got us through that and oh my gosh i look dead <sighs> that don't even matter right now that don't matter i just want to say thank you for the support we love you. Thank you for being there for us and for my Benny. And I hope you guys continue to follow us and support and bring awareness for Wiscott Aldrich syndrome and any other disease that touches our beautiful kids out there and any other beautiful people. So I love you guys and have a good night.